Hello YouTube. So I've decided, my name's Tom, and I've decided that I'm going to start selling on eBay. Now, why did I make that decision? So it's about three weeks ago, um, we needed a bit more money coming into the house, like most people do. So I made an executive decision and just start to sell some stuff we had lying around the house. And a lot of it sold, a lot of it didn't. Um, I remember my first my first 10 ads were absolutely appalling. The pictures were appalling. The descriptions were appalling. And I've still got the stock for that. So I'm going to rethink how I'm going to do that. <clears throat> so I'm a plumber. And um, essentially, I don't like my job. It doesn't make me that much. You think it would, but it doesn't. I don't get to spend much time with my family. So I thought I wanted to do something... Um, they could bring in some money and maybe I could work, I don't know, driving for Morrison's or something three days a week and do some picking and buying and selling on eBay on things that I find and see how that works. So I'm, I'm literally just beginning this journey um, and you can you can come on this journey with me, um, essentially. I've not done anything like this before. I'm just giving it a go. Um, yeah, so make some comments, you know, if you're a picker or... or um, a seller on um, the internet on these platforms like eBay, Facebook. Uh, Facebook's quite good. They got the marketplace, haven't they? And you've got Spock. Uh, you've got Amazon, which is really good. And you've got um, you got Spock. You got Amazon. Um, Gumtree. Gumtree's pretty good for your bigger stuff, local stuff. And I'm still going to have the van when I finish plumbing. So maybe I'll do some house clearances for free and just sort of uh, re refab the um contents and, and sell it um so in the three weeks i've made probably about 250 quid it doesn't really it doesn't sound like a lot i haven't got i never had much listing though i had about maybe 60 items listed on ebay and i i don't have a business on ebay yet so i'm literally just putting stuff up and see how it goes i've i have watched a lot of uh videos on youtube on um other uk pickers that's what give me this idea actually to kind of share my experience and and how i'm doing with it all so that's what i'm doing with you now um <clears throat> so yeah i've just been watching a lot of videos um, a lot of videos doing a lot of research seeing what sells I've, I've took some notes so i've written down sort of top 10 board games that sell on ebay uh used and looking at sold items in and um just seeing what what's selling and, and trying to have a good eye for things in um making a, making decisions making an executive decision really on what you want to buy before you go out so like for example today i wanted to buy a few board games i wanted to get a few board games on ebay today so they don't have any and i know they sell well there's certain board games that do sell well but there's some that sell better than others um so i was like so that was my intention i seen so much more than board games but i wanted to just keep it small you know i just want to keep the profit uh small for now um and use that to invest back into it i don't want to use um, the family money or money that I, I earn from my job. I want to use the money that I earn from selling my products. Um, <clears throat> keeping track of what you're paying and how much you're selling for um, and then your profit. But you need to take off your eBay fees. I think eBay fees are 10%. So if you if you want a tenner for something, essentially sell it for £11 uh, because you'll lose that pound, but you'll get your £10. And then there's PayPal fees, which I tend to put on the postage. So if something costs you two seventy five to post, like a small envelope or something light, then I put another pound on top of that, and that covers my PayPal fees. So I'm always kind of, and I'm always trying to double my money. Um, uh, I've noticed as well, you have to wait a lot. I don't know how the schematics works on eBay, but you have to be patient with a lot of things as well. So what have I put on in the last few weeks? Okay, so I had um, I think I had about a 70 something items. i can't remember about looking about 70 something items a lot of it was women's clothes man that was horrible like putting women's clothes on ebay a lot of it was tags as well they all had their tags some really nice vintage stuff so but i haven't got an eye for that you know and i'm i'm on google i'm trying to source what these things i've learned a lot about women's clothes which is probably good actually because if i do come across a nice bag a woman's bag or a dress or a pair of jeans um, that's worth some money, I'll be able to recognize that and, and get it listed. So that's been quite helpful. 
Um, like I said, the beginning of the picture is though they were really bad. So my wife, uh, she's a teacher, well, a teacher's assistant, and um, <clears throat> but before she done that, she um she made clothes, um, baby's clothes, toddlers' clothes, and that that kind of thing. So she had a lot of back stock. So uh, that was my first lot I put on. It was twenty seven items. Um of my wife's handmade clothes and I haven't sold any yet and they're actually really good uh, but the descriptions are so poor and the pictures are so poor um, and that's probably why they've they've not sold because people buy with their eyes essentially uh, so I've come to learn over the last three weeks so I'm gonna get a ma maybe get a toddler mannequin I don't know but I'm gonna re-evaluate how I'm gonna take the pictures of these these clothes and how I'm gonna describe them because the the newer stuff that I've put on I'm, I'm getting more interest and more views and more bids and um, they seem to be going out but um, I've done a bit more on the description I've been clear about postage and I've had better better pictures um, I don't have a warehouse or anything like that so they, I'm doing it from my kitchen so I, I kind of just put up like a partition wall and I put a white backdrop on it and I get um, my lamp that I use for work out the van and I get a lamp up and I, I get some clear pictures of it and that seems to to go quite well so <clears throat> what um, I went out picking today do you want to see what I picked I can show you what I picked I just want to say as well, if you follow me, that'd be fantastic and you can follow my journey and you can follow my progression because this is all going to change the way I do um, my blogs, you know. <clears throat> um, I'm still going to kind of show you my picks and show you my sales, but I'm going to have like split screens up so you can see what things sold for and, you know, I'm just, tr I'm just trying this out really and just see if people tag along for the journey and, you know, if you've got any advice for me, then I'm, I'm willing to receive it and, if I get any advice for you, then I'm willing to pass it. And that that's it. Um, so hopefully one day we will do well. And we will have our own place where we can have a bit of stock and somewhere I can work. And maybe give up the plumbing altogether. Or to what's your plan doing anyway. Or the Morrisons altogether. Whatever I decide to do. And do this more on a full-time basis. So I've made a lot of errors as well. I've bought, I've bought stuff and I've put it on. And um, it's not sold. It's done really bad. Um, but that's fine and I, I only bought it for 99p and the items are not that great so that was learning that, I think that was me only last year it was a Burton's money pot tin and it was um, Royal Edinburgh on the front and it was a short bread biscuit tin money box and I had it on for I thought oh that's really vintage and really cool and uh, I had it on for like a tenner and weeks so with like three weeks and just yeah so not a good item it didn't go well for me but i've got still got it on got it for a quid might get a quid for it get my money back i'm happy uh, but my wife quite likes it as well so i've noticed that about women i've been doing this picking and bringing stuff back and she i love my wife the bits by the way she's my wife and mother of my children she's like oh i really like that i was really wanting something like that like i went out to a charity shop the other day and i bought this swan um cereal dispenser M amazing piece uh, in mint condition and I bought it for two pound fifty, and I and I had a look on Argos because I knew they were quite you know for domestic use, you know in hotels or whatever, um, they're used a lot. And I looked at, at the retail value in Argos, and it was like twenty five quid. I thought, wow, I get fifteen for this easy, right? And I brought it home. My wife's like, oh, that's really cool. I've been wanting one of them for ages. So that's currently. I wish I knew how to split screen now and get my phone and show you a picture. But that that's right there on the shelf behind here, full of uh, crunchy nut cornflakes and Cheerios. And it's great for the kids, they love it. So first thing I'm gonna show you that I bought um, the other day was a fell. So I seen a Harry I seen a Harry Potter uh, triple pursuit and a triple uh, trivia sorry trivial trivial pursuit uh, is a great board game um, to sell on eBay. It's a, a good seller that um, along with Scrabble and other great brands. Um, and the trivial pursuit is is one of them. La 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 la. Um, so I bought this Harry Potter one, but like, it wasn't the, the big one that I thought it was. It was just a small one, and I already agreed to pay it off of Facebook, so I paid it anyway. And the idea was sell it, but I paid a fiver for it. I was hoping to get 15 for it, but it wasn't one that it turned out to be. So we've decided that we're going to give it to my son uh, for his birthday. It's his birthday in a few weeks. He loves Harry Potter. He's read all the books, and um, I've decided to give him that. So that was this one here, and it's packed. It's all boxed up, and and um, it's, you know, it's, it's new, essentially, 
uh, but I paid a fiver for it. So we decided that we're going to put that along to his birthday, which is a shame. I did think it was the bigger one as well. You know, as well, I've, I've discovered this app, um, which is fantastic, as a barcode reader, and it gives you direct prices. So if you scan something, it gives you direct prices of what they sell on Amazon. And I was in um, a charity shop today, and I scanned this barcode for 007 um, game, a board game. I'm trying to think what it's called. Let me just have a quick look, see if I can bring it up and show you. Uh, 007, uh, where's the app? Uh, do 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 barcode scanner. <clears throat> no, I'm not connected to Wi Fi and the battery's low. I might not be able to show you, but I can show you on the next video. Uh, was it this one? Why did I put in this one? Let's have a look. Five, no, it was zero eight. I think was the code. What was the code? Oh, that was Lord of the Rings. Was it that one? Zero eight. Um, was it this one? No, that's DVD, not a scan. I know it's here somewhere. Ah, there it is. So I find this this game, um, 007 um, James Bond DVD game uh, called S S uh, Seen It. And uh, I scanned it and it come up on Amazon for it. I hope you can see that. Can you see that? Oh, the picture's rubbish. Let's just turn the thing down a bit and see if we can see this better. So you can see that there is 74. 99 it's backwards actually on there let me just flip it 74.99 can you believe that then i scrolled up and they had another one there for 28.99 and when i actually went on to um ebay they were only selling for a tenner so i didn't bother buying it but i don't know if i made a mistake there or not Maybe I should have bought it. What do you think? Should I have bought that for it was two pound fifty? Should I have bought it? Um, does it, you know? Comment. Let me know. Did I make an error there? Probably. Um, so let me show you my picks. So of today. So the first pick today was two pound fifty, which is a bit of a lot, but Monopoly is a Monopoly game. But Monopoly sells quite well, and this is uh, make your own um, Monopoly. Um, I checked the contents, it has everything in there that it's meant to have in there, including the CD-ROM. Um, they sell between 11 to sort of £18, so sort of £15 mid-range. I'm going to ask for about 11, 12 quid plus postage, so I should make my money back on that and a little bit more. Not massive money. It, Monopoly does make good money, but it depends on the Monopoly that you buy. Um, you want to look out for uh, the different editions. They, they sell quite well. Um, this one's called Emojinary. Now, I bought this... For, if you can see it on there for 3.99 from a charity shop they resell on amazon for 24.99 this one is sealed as well which is fantastic i'm going to ask for 19.99 on that one um for free posting packaging so i'm, I'm going to make my money back on this whenever it sells i'm sure it will sell at some point now when it comes to um selling unknown things like unopened things like like this would you if you're a picker on here a bit of advice would be great would you uh use a stock photo or would you take a photo yourself because i've got two items which i picked and paid for i paid seven pound fifty each for them i know it seems like a lot but they are great and um i put a stock picture on but i'm not having much views of it i've had 15 views i've not had much interest and i don't know is that if that's because i put a stock photo and people are like well we don't really know what it looks like i don't know give me your advice do you use stock photos or do you use your original photos let me know so yeah that one there 15.99 i'm uh 19.99 i'm gonna sell it well around about there anyway but i'm definitely gonna make my money back Now, I'll leave you in a little secret here. So this was another one I bought. It's uh, Lord of the Rings. Can you see it there? Another Trivia Pursuit DVD game right there. It's nigh on in mint condition. It's nigh on in mint condition. Now, this had a big, thick piece of sellotape going from here all the way across this thing here. And I couldn't pull it off because it was going to rip it. So I was thinking, what am I going to do? How am I going to get this thing off? This sellotape, this sellotape off. There's still a little tiny bit on the back, actually. This sellotape, which I need to get off. So I'm going to do that. So what I've done is got a hairdryer, yeah, and just started to warm this sellotape up. 
And as the sellotape got warm, I was able to peel it back. And then I just held it there. The gum got soft and it peeled all the way off with no rips on the box whatsoever. Then I was able to wipe over the box and it literally looks as good as new. And I paid two pounds for that one. Um, and I'm going to sell it for 11. Uh, it's not big bucks, but you know, check the condition out in this. So you've got your manual there. I'm just getting it out for you. You've got the board here, which is in absolute mint condition. Um, you've got the DVD ROM, which is not even open, still sealed. You've got your counters, still bagged, not open. All the characters still bagged and not open and the box of questions each one still wrapped and open so i can sell that now i've got that sticker off i can sell that as new without tags and put a description on there basically new with minimal damage to the box and i think i can get i don't know actually i'm gonna have a look into it but i think i should be able to get 11 12 quid for that pretty easy i would have thought what do you think maybe i don't know just put this anyway so leave some comments anyway so that was the third item i picked no, i need to i need to get a list. it's like 10 it's like half 11. oh it's late takes up a lot of your time all the listing. I don't like the listing, I like the picking, but it's the selling that, that's gonna make you the money, isn't it? Um, two things I bought, I'll show you, I'm just gonna pick them up here. So if Annie's in a charity shop, they wanted a tenner each from, I managed to get them, get her down to seven pound fifty. And this is each, and this is the one I use a stock photo for. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe I just use normal pictures that I take myself, you know, it looks a bit more authentic and people kind of trust that a little bit more. Kind of copy and paste the description as well. I was just really lazy about it. But this is from Disney, from the animated series, uh, Jungle to Jungle. They sell on Amazon for kind of between 25 and 29.99. I'm asking, I think 19.99. I can't remember off the top of my head. And they're brand new in mint condition. Look at that for a find. So I paid £7.50 for that one. As you see, Disney. I just swapped the thing around so yeah you got disney there jungle to jungle with the boat in absolute mint condition and all the features and i got two of these i got two for age free up there's one here and one here pretty sweet all right so yeah, maybe 19.99, sort of meet in the middle with that. I should sell them. I should definitely make my money back on it, but I'm not getting much interest on it at the minute. Don't know why. Maybe it's the stock photos. Make a comment. Let me know. Are you a picker? Are you a seller? Is it the stock photos? Should I need to be more authentic with my pictures? Um, maybe. So let's have a look at what we sold this week real quick. And then I'm going to have to go because I need to get some stuff listed. So I'm just going to bring up eBay eBay buy it on my phone. Oh, there, that's one thing I got listed at the minute. I've got a NES on at the moment for £45. It's a, you can see, it's just a NES there um, in working order with a zapper. Um, I'm asking for 45 for that with 19.99 postage. Quite a heavy item, but then I'll get it. Might do. It's got two games, Duck Hunt. I've got a few NES games actually on there, but um i'm gonna tell you my tell you my sold rather than my um what i've got on uh, where is it oh no i don't use the app usually uh, boom. my ebay selling boom. Uh, eight sold so i've made quite a bit actually eight items are sold i've done quite well so um this week i have sold oh that tin keeps flashing up on me so i sold some skinny denim jeans women's three pairs 
um, of skinny jeans. I got a tenner for them. Now I got a big, I got given a big bag of women's clothes, like I said, and this was part of it. Um, so I sold them. They're in great condition. I probably could have got more. I had them on for fifteen. Make me an offer. Someone offered me ten. They're they're bagged up. I'm ready to go for a tenner for nothing. I'm not really too arsed about that. That's cool. So that's on its way out um, on Monday morning. Uh, men's denim jacket G Star XXL Blue. Now, I had this is one of my first buys, and I put it on an auction. And I should have, if I had the knowledge I had three weeks ago. That's the thing. You can get, you learn really quick in this game, you know. Um, and you, you need to keep learning. You know, I had everything on auction when I started. Everything was on auction, which I thought was eBay is an auction site. No, get it on the buy it now. If it doesn't shift in a few weeks, get it on an offer. You know, don't put things on auction unless you really want to get rid of it. Um, which I learned the hard way because I bought this jacket for a tenner from a charity shop and I put it on auction and I should have had it up for sale for uh, £40. But, oh well, it was a G-Star denim jacket. It was vintage. Um, I got 18 quid for it plus uh, eight ninety postage, but it ain't going to cost that much to post it. So I reckon I doubled my money on that anyway, but I could have I could have made a bit more. That's this one here, which needs to go out. <sighs> Pretty cool, eh? And G-Star... Then um, pay ten, sold eighteen, eight pound postage. So that's going out on Monday. Uh, what else? Uh, waiting for a payment. So I had this. This is really annoyed me actually. So I had this Super Nintendo Mini SNES with twenty games plus one on, and it sold. Someone offered me fifty quid. They were going for about eighty. Uh, the higher ones with the more games, more money. But I took it anyway just to get it out of the way. And uh, she said she'll pay you today yesterday she said she'll pay yesterday um so to send that out today being saturday morning she hasn't paid and i've sent her four messages and she's not responding and it's really annoying me because you know that could have been gone by now if it was left up a few more days but she might come through she might pay so i bought um i sold some bath taps i got 40 quid for them that's not bad seeing they were just kind of sat in the van being a plumber like i said when i started i just sold what i had Hey, when I got 40 quid for them, and I got um, 18 for a postage on that. Uh, an old MacBook 2009 model, sold that, got a bit for that. Uh, a couple of PS4 games and some Bristol Blue Glass. That was this week. And yeah, it's not a bad profit margin on that, actually. Um, it's pretty good. It's money for nothing, isn't it? So there we go. So I'm going to get these items up. I, I want to do a blog sort of weekly, but I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to do a blog weekly. They're gonna be live, this is my first one, it's gonna be recorded and uploaded to YouTube. And then, um, I don't know how to work YouTube, I guess I'll start doing them live straight from YouTube or something. And then, yeah, just kind of tag on, follow, and enjoy the journey. I'm trying to think of some names, what I can call myself, you know. Uh, Tom the Trader, try, you know, that sounds sucky. My name's Thomas Anthony Curry, so Tack. I like to do something with Tack and maybe Shack, maybe Tack Shack, Tack Shack. What do you think about Tack Shack? Yeah, Tack Shack or Tacky Shack, I don't know. <laughs> tacky Shack, maybe. Who knows? We'll see how it goes anyway. So peace out, guys. And um, yeah, give me some feedback, leave some comments, tell me what you think. I'm open to suggestions and open to, to uh, some advice. So hold tight, as they say. Ciao, Bella. Bye.